Good morning, you guys. How is everybody? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. I'm going to put it down for a minute. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. So it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Ooh. Um, I received some channel messages in, so I'm going to deliver them. Um, it's a free general reading, just saying. Okay. And today, I was going to tell you guys, today I'm going to work on the hashtag glow up channel and um, put, try to, I don't know if I'll get all the, the rest of the signs out for February, but we'll see. Probably, but I'm not making no promises. Okay. Sorry, I got a huge pimple right here. Okay, so confirmation for my kitty already. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, so I have really literally been up like six minutes, seven minutes maybe at max. And I'm serious about that. They started flying in. I mean, channel, channel, channel. So just saying. Okay. So, the channel message I received was, um, a water sign is about to portray their uh, workplace in a huge way. They're going to, uh, soon, they're going to request a transfer. It's about to cause huge, huge, huge chaos. Some of these, uh, some of these water signs will get it, some will not, and they will be stuck. It will make them very pissed. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, I, I, I'm going to put them out individually because um, I just feel it's better that way. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So workplace, um, drama, workplace, going on. There is about to be huge, huge, huge chaos in a particular workplace. One particular unit. Very soon and very quickly. Okay, I heard there's about to be huge, huge chaos in a particular workplace, in a particular unit, very soon and very quickly. So some kind of unit energy, so some kind of workplace situation energy, heavy workplace energy. Um, somebody, it's water sign energy heavy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It could be masculine or feminine, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, they could have Cancer Pisces and Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in energy for charts. But however that resonates, uh, there's at least two of them in the universe want to request transfers away from whatever area or, or specifically a unit for some, for some an area um, in their company or site or location or um, maybe moving lo physical locations, however that resonates. Um, I heard one will be denied. One will be denied and they will be stuck and one um, they will get it, it sounds like. So, um, you have to plug it in, how it resonates. A particular feminine water sign will be stuck. And they will be very, very, very pissed. They know it's about to get very bad, and they are right. Oh, shit. Oh, I heard a particular water sign will be stuck. Uh, it sounds like one, uh, water sign, uh, femme water sign, femme cancer crisis Scorpio is going to be one of the ones to request a transfer. Um, but I heard they will be stuck. They will be stuck. Um, and there'll be nothing they can do about it. So they won't out. I heard they know that it's about to get really, really bad wherever they're at. Um, I don't know if it, it's like really bad as far as busyness or some kind of chaos or drama or stuff that's going to break out. Like they have to get the foresight. I'll tell you that they have to get the foresight. They know something bad is coming in some shape, form or fashion, whether it's they don't, maybe they're lazy, they don't want to work or they know something internally is going on in their unit or location or site or um, what have you, or facility or what have you, and um, they want to get out. Um, for some, they could, I mean, for some, they could just no no. It might not just be foresight. They might have been involved in the shit, physically involved in the shit, and they just want to get away. Um, but they will be stuck. A particular water sign, fem water sign. Uh, but it sounds like one of the water signs will be able to get out. I don't know if it's masculine or fem water sign, but you plug it in how it resonates. That's crazy. Masculine water sign going to get out. 
masculine water sign going to get out. And one will be stuck, masculine. Oh, we have at least three. There is a lot of movement from getting away from toxic work environments. Holy crap. Okay, so one masculine water sign will get out. One masculine water sign will not. And one femme water sign will not. That's what I'm taking from these spiritual downloads. Holy crap. So you plug in and help resonate, resonates heavy water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It sounds like in this particular story and scenario, one masculine water sign will get out. Masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio will get out. They are requesting to get out. They'll get out. One femme water sign will not get out. One masculine water sign will not get out. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. Vigilance upright. And a particular Sagittarius feminine is going to try to be very, very sneaky and malicious towards a fire sign fem soon, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. It's not going to happen the way they want it to happen. Some, this is in a workplace situation. For some, this is trying to hide a pregnancy. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so Sag Fem energy in here. Um, it sounds like this, for the workplace situation with the Sag Fem, it sounds like they, um, they're a position of high authority in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, possible manager, boss, CEO, supervisor energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be can anybody with any kind of position or authority. They have enough, they have enough authority and control in this workplace situation to try to manipulate something. That's why I say that. So they have to be a position of authority in some shape or fashion. Um, just seriously. So, uh, you know, you plug it in, how it resonates, but, um, Sag Fem energy. They could have Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard they, um, we're going to try to be very malicious um, behind the scenes to a Leo, uh, not a Leo, not a Leo. Maybe it is a Leo. I didn't hear a Leo. I heard fire sign, fire sign fam too. Maybe it is a Leo. Maybe for some it is a Leo with this side fam. I didn't hear Leo. Um, I just said it. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but I heard it's not going to work out the, the way they want it to. And um, it's not going to work out the way they want, they want it to. So something's going to happen. It sounds like some kind of series of chain of events are going to occur that's basically their goal in this to be is to be very malicious, mean, spiteful, nasty, behind the scenes, of course, to the fire sign fem. Aries Leo or Sag masculine. I mean Aries Leo or Sag feminine energy. They could have Aries Leo or Sag in their sun moon rising Venus North of and Hammer Jupiter charts. Um, but it sounds like series of chain of events are about to be created in the universe or have already been created. I feel they're about to be foresight. About to. Um and it's not going to work out the way they want it to. But you wouldn't, I mean, you're not, I, I feel for this situation with the Sag Fem and the uh, Fire Sign Fem, you're not going to actually see it in the 3D because it's so much behind the scenes energy there. It's so much behind the scenes um, because it's not going to work out the way the Sag Fem wants it to work out. So it sounds like they're not going to be successful in their malicious, nasty, spiteful energy in a workplace situation towards the fire sign fem, if that makes sense. So you plug in how it resonates. Vigilance, second time, I shuffled second time so on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I'm sorry, real quick. Um, for some, it was in a workplace situation, the Sag Fem. Some, it was in a workplace situation. For some, it is uh, trying to hide a secret pregnancy, um, these Sag Fems. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates uh, towards that um, fire sign Fem. Like I said, the Fem to Fem energy over here. 
So for some of the workplace situation, the um, side spam, want, I think they want to abuse their power in a workplace situation, be spiteful, malicious, and nasty, and crazy to a uh, um, fireside fam, Aries Leo side fam, but that's not going to work out. So it sounds like something, you know, something's going to happen where they really, really, really want to be nasty um, and crazy, but it's not going to work out because something's going to happen where it's not going to work out. That makes sense. The other situation, it's a Sag Femme to a Fire Sign Femme. So, Aries Leo, Sag Femme, and Sag Femme. But it sounds like the Sag Femme is hiding a secret pregnancy from a Fire Sign Femme, Aries Leo, Sag Femme. But I heard that's not going to work out either. So, I wonder if the Fire Sign Femme, Aries Leo, Sag Femme, is going to, I think they're going to find out from somebody else about the secret pregnancy. This is exactly what I think. Sag Femme is strategically hiding it from the Aries Leo, Sag Femme. I think this Aries Leo Sag Femme, this one that this Sag Femme is hiding secret pregnancy from, they're going to find out. They're going to find out from somebody else. So you plug it in or find out in another way. Um, so you plug in how it resonates. Holy crap, y'all. Vigilance. A particular water sign, masculine, is about to get beat up soon. Severely beat up. Some, they are currently in jail. Some, they are not. Heavy drug lord energy here. Oh my god, whoa! Gang energy and drug, drug energy. Oh, whoa, okay. Heavy gang energy and drug energy. I had the MSN thing pop up on my computer screen. Oh, for one, it, there will be a significant stabbing. For one, there will be a shooting. Hospitalization and huge investigation. Oh my God, whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. So heavy water sign energy in here. My God. Water sign masculine energy in this situation. We have three, um, four situations so far. This one, workplace, want to get out, want to get out, want to get out. Sag fam, want to be malicious, spiteful to a fire sign fam in a workplace situation. It's not going to work out. And a Sag fam trying to hide a pregnancy from a fire sign fam is not it's not going to work out. And then this one, this one, um, he, uh, water sign masculine energy. It sounds like water sign mask. Now, I heard water sign masculine. So I feel and you know, energy is pretty reversed. So it's either water sign masculine about to get stabbed, shot, or beat up. Or a water sign masculine is about to stab, shoot, and beat somebody up. Some of these situations I heard are in jail. Some they're in jail. And some, I mean, like the stabbing, uh, I'm assuming the stabbing, the shoot, well, I guess the shooting could occur in jail. I don't know how the hell to smuggle, well, there's ways to smuggle firearms in there, unfortunately. I mean, there he is. Um, there he is. Um, I mean, there just is. I hate to say that, but there he is. Um, I don't believe in it, but I've seen some crazy shit in a jail. I used to work in a jail. So, I don't put it past anybody, and I'm just saying, and I'm serious. So. You plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of stabbing, shooting, and um, uh, beating up energy. I heard water sign masculine energy. So I feel, like I said, uh, and that could be the watching out for yourself too. Some of these situations are in jail. So some, they are currently, these people are in jail. So it's either a water sign masculine going to beat somebody up, stab somebody, or shoot, shoot, shoot somebody in jail, or um, a water sign masculine is about to get stabbed, shot, or beat up in jail. Because energies can be reversed. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Some of them, they're in jail. Some, they're not. Some, it's gang activity. Some, it's drug lord energy. Um, we've been pulling a lot of drugs in these readings recently. Uh, a lot. 
drugs, 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 drugs. Addiction energy, drug lord energy, drug dealers of cities energy. I mean, it, it's coming out in here. It's crazy. So vigilance, watch your back. Um, Yeah, I say so, dear God. I mean, these are, that's why I say to stay to my damn self, man. My damn self. Because of crazy shit like this. And I'm serious. So wh watch your back if I've ever heard it. Watch your freaking back, man. Watch your back. Um, very um, highly intuitive um, water sign. Wanting to get out. One of them will get out. Two will be stuck at least. Um, of a workplace unit. Something is going on in this workplace unit. Or site or facility or location or what have you. They want to get the hell out. Uh, for some, I feel they could have participated in it and helped make it that way. And I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning. Um, and now they want to get out. It's like um, creating the fire. And then now, oh, I got to get away. But I helped create it. But I got to get away. Okay. And I didn't hear they did help create it. But I do feel some of them did. And I'm just serious. Um, that one. Um, Sag femme energy, trying to hide a secret pregnancy, and um, trying to be malicious in a workplace. That's going to backfire. And then shot, stabbing, shooting, and um, beating up energy. Some in a jail situation, some not. Um, and I had, like I told you guys, anybody's been watching me a hot minute, you know, I used to work in a jail. That is a, that's a not messing around kind of place. I mean, it's really not. It's not. <laughs> Um, it's really not. I have been called on calls where there has been, um, and I used to work at the jail here in Huntsville, Alabama, and it's the um, largest jail in the state of Alabama. This one is, um, to my knowledge it is, but, um, it's, it holds over a thousand inmates or it did a few years ago when I worked there or a couple of years ago. Well, a few years now ago, when I used to work there, it held over a thousand inmates, like a close to 1,100 inmates. It probably holds more now. But I was called, I went to one, one specific unit in this jail, right? But of course, if something crazy is going on, it's all hands on deck, all nursing personnel on deck. Well, one night, I'll just tell you the story real quick and I'll see if I get any more uh, channel messages. Um, one night, I, we got a call and, you know, everybody on deck. So, there was a fight broke out in one of the units, um, in one of the units. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Of course, it wouldn't be violating privacy. Well, yeah, because I told you where it was. So, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what unit. But um, it was a call to a unit. And um, so I, I was running up there, running, running, running. I mean, that's not something you just, oh, okay, I'll be there in a minute. No, no, that you, you get called. You, I mean, I was running, just saying. Um, so... I get up there and huge fight these inmates. I mean, blood and I mean, these people don't play around. They don't play around. I'm sure they didn't on the street side and they, and they don't, they still don't in the jail. I mean, just because they're behind bars don't mean it takes away the street from the people. And I'm serious about that. Now, some people get um, locked up unnecessarily, you know, like people not unnecessarily. Well, yeah, unnecessarily, I'd say. Yeah. When you don't, people that get locked up for pe not paying speeding tick, um, not paying uh, tickets on time, I think that's crazy. Because you're, it's like you're lumping these people in there with people that have murdered people, with people um, that, like, drug dealers and um, people that have grew up with gang violence over people that haven't paid a speeding ticket on a timely fashion, in a timely fashion. What? Just say it. I think that's a little crazy, but I don't make rules. Just saying. So, yeah. So, um, so, yeah. But anyways, um, I got called up to this call up there, right? And it was bad. It was bad. I mean, y'all, I mean, I've been, com people have complained on me on the channel. Oh, you're too loud. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know who the hell you're around in 3D because I'm not near as loud as a lot of people. And let me tell you. You, if you think I'm loud, you couldn't work in a jail 
and that's just the truth because it's fucking loud in there especially when those um jail mates inmates start fighting and i am serious like loud i mean you think i'm loud you can't go to a concert i mean i'm serious i think of concerts and i think of fights in jails because i have actually been around fights in jails so just saying just saying but anyway so yeah um but I got caught up there, and it, it was so, so loud. It was so crazy. That, I mean, cuts. I mean, cuts. Not just little scratches. Cuts and blood. And, I mean, angry inmates. I mean, they don't mess around is what I'm trying to say. They do not mess around. They really don't. And um, they just don't. They don't. So whoever is in jail over here in this bitch, um, I know they know to watch their back, or at least I would hope they know to watch their back. It's some kind of water sign energy, uh, masculine. Whether the water sign masculine is the one beating somebody up, or they're about to get beat up, stabbed, beat up, stabbed, or shot. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And we have gang violence in here, too, and drug lord energy. Um, I think of, like, Al Capone when I think of drug lord energy, and I'm serious about that. So, yeah, please, God, watch your back. Watch your back, you guys. Watch your back. Because this is scary. This is so scary. Scary. Let me see if I hear anything else. Spirit messages, you have to like this. Insane. Someone's child is about to be refused at a daycare. They are about to be pissed. But it's because people know this person is connected to very dangerous people. They have high instincts about this, and they are right. It is going to piss these people off in huge ways. Feminine energies, air sign energy, and water sign energy. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So I heard um, basically um, air sign and water sign energy. Now that could be a masculine or femme that has this child that's trying to put them in daycare. Um, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Amina, Jupiter, Charts. But I heard basically um, they're trying to put their child in daycare. So it's a younger child. Um, I'm presuming um, five or younger. And one child is about to be denied daycare services because they know what their parents are doing. It's about to piss them off in a huge way. They do not want to be involved. Oh, whoa. Okay, so, okay, we have one child about to be denied. They, they're not part of this daycare but they the parents want i'm assuming the parent want to go back to work or they want to or maybe it's the way they want to go to work or maybe they just want the child in the daycare i don't know but um they want this child in daycare for some reason um but these people in the daycare that either own it or work there or what have you they know um some of the children are already there currently enrolled some they're not um but for the ones that are not, they will be denied. And this sounds like upcoming in the universe too. And for some, they're already there and they're going to be um, basically kicked out of daycare. Um, now, whether, I don't know how they're going to kick them out of daycare. Maybe um, they don't pay their fee or something and they're like, oh, well, or something happens and then they can have that as like, well, we can't. And then they just don't tell them really why really why they don't want them there and really why they don't want them there is because they know their parents are involved in some kind of it sounds like illegal criminal shisty st stuff i think and i'm serious um they know they're connected i heard they know they're connected with some very nasty shisty 
stuff outside of the uh, of the daycare. So they're basically connected with very local racial people. I'm feeling gang members, people in jail, um, criminal people, um, very low low racial people, and they don't want their business or themselves connected around that. And I don't blame them. I do not blame them. That's crazy. So instinct, instinct of using their intuition um, to deny the child the daycare services to keep them keep the daycare away from the toxicity, away from drug lords, possibly, away from criminals, away from um, mobile racial people. And for some, the child's already in the daycare. And I heard um, through many series of chain events, they will be out of there soon. Confirmation for my kitty, by the way. Through many series of chain events, they will be out of there soon. So there's a child currently in daycare. Um, and through many series of shame events, they will be out of there soon. So instinct to um, cut ties with this child, i.e. the family. It's not personal against the child. It is in this situation, if this resonates for you or somebody you're connected to, it is the family. It is the family. They know the family is either dealing in criminal activities or as friends with criminals or they're involved in this gang activity or drug um lord activity or something of that nature um and they're about to cut ties and it's going to be through the child i.e the business of the daycare um so you plug it in how it resonates wow now you know sometimes i get this out as like sexual predator energy and shit like that but it's not in this case it's the it, this is the instinct of um the daycare workers and the maybe the business owner of the daycare to uh, make the decision to deny the child before they even uh, perform services for the child to, because of the connection with the family. Um, the family has some strange, weird connections, apparently. Um, or through series of chain events, the child will not be there anymore. Um, at the daycare to disconnect this daycare. It sounds like a very reputable daycare. It sounds like a very reputable daycare and they do not want their reputation on the line dealing with these nasty low vibrational people. I'm feeling drug lord energy and I didn't hear that, but I did hear drug lord in here earlier. So I'm feeling one, they know their family's connected to some kind of drug lord energy. And I'm serious about that. Um, I do. So you plug it in how it resonates. Let's see if I hear anything else. Okay, we're done. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.